Now, you see, one of the impressions the Lord gave me this morning while I was preparing for the service, he said, my people are not fighting. When Satan throws challenges at them, they just roll over and take it. Nobody, not many people are making a stand that I'm not taking this from you, Satan. Christ has delivered me from this. We just say and roll over and say, ah, life is hard. Hey, this life is just tough. And we go along with the nonsense he's selling us. Let me explain something to you. The economy of heaven is not dependent on what happens on earth. Somebody says, what's the evidence? Very simple. You see, what is happening now has happened before. There's nothing new under the sun. At some point in the life of Isaac, the son of Abraham, the same thing happened with his father, but Isaac's case was a bit different. The Bible says there was famine in the land, and everybody was escaping to Egypt. Praise the Lord. Because the land was barren. Nothing was growing. There was poverty. There was lack. And Isaac, too, thought to himself, let me operate. And as he was about to go, God said to him, don't leave the land. And the Bible says, and Isaac sowed. Listen to me. Science, what happened defied science. The Bible says, and Isaac sowed in the land, and he reaped a hundredfold. Where does it happen? Listen, the science is the fact that when there's famine, there's something wrong with the soil. Amen. And it is not conducive for seed. So even in good times, people don't normally even reap hundredfold. You may reach 60, 30, um, 80, But hundred in a time of famine. Praise the Lord. Listen, God is truth. Listen, he's faithful to his covenant. Our own part is to believe. 